Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Valorant on laptop. I hope this guide helps you out because I'm going to be covering the best settings to optimize your laptop as well as your game. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Over here, head over to Game Bar and simply turn this thing off. Since Game Bar is an overlay service, it uses your CPU and RAM even while your games are running. And disabling that will help you to optimize your PC's performance. After that, go down to Graphics and over here, you'll find optimizations for windowed games. You wanna have to turn this thing on because it will help you to reduce input latency, especially in AAA titles where borderless windows and frame generation will help you to improve your FPS. After that, in the Advanced Graphics Settings, Hardware Accelerator GPU Scheduling should be turned on. And then in the Custom Settings, for applications, you're gonna have to click on Add Desktop App. Go to your local disk C where you might have installed Valorant, head over to Riot Games, Valorant, Live, and in here you'll find Valorant.exe. You don't wanna have to click that. Instead, you wanna have to head over to Shooter Game, find Reese Win64, and you'll find the Win64 Shipping.exe right over here. This is the actual game file. Click on the Add button, and if that is already added, scroll down to find it. Click on the application, and then for the GPU preference, select High Performance. Once that is done, head over to the Personalization section of your settings, and then you wanna have to go down to Colors. Over here, you'll find Transparency Effects. You wanna have to turn this thing off this might not give you a very good performance boost but it will help you to optimize your windows next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here you wanna have to select adjust for best performance then you wanna have to enable save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four settings will help you to minimize the animations of your pc while keeping the basic look intact after applying that click on the apply button and that should be it once that is done the next step is heading over to the advanced tab and over here you'll find something called virtual memory click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size over here select your local disk c and for the initial size set this thing to 1361 this is in megabytes and this is the most accurate value i have found out for virtual memory for the maximum size open up your calculator and multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 this will give you your ram in megabytes divide this value by two and a new value that you get over here is to be pasted in the maximum size over here click on the set button and then click on ok this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming it will be used when your ram is completely utilized and it will help you to use your rom as your ram next step is downloading lago fast on your pc to improve your fps packet loss ping issues and a lot more things you guys can download lago fast for free from the link in the description below once you open up the application it should look like this where you guys can find all of the games that you have installed on your pc scroll down to find valorant in this list it would be auto detected once you select your game you need to select your server for the server you can head over to your continent and then find your country simply select the server which gives you the lowest amount of ping and then click on one click boost this will help you to tunnel your internet straight from your pc to the game servers and help you to fix all kind of packet loss ping issues latency and a lot of other stuff the best part about lago fast is it also has fps boost features which are currently being utilized over here once that is done, let this application run in the background because it is still boosting the game. It is that simple. LegoFast is trusted by 30 million users worldwide and it helps you to smoothen your game experience and improve your FPS drastically. I would recommend you guys to go check out LegoFast from the link in the description below and download it for free and boost your in-game FPS right away. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and after that look for local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Val just so can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system property. The next step is Valorant laptop optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find six simple folders over here. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority. In here, you'll find AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority and you can do the same with the AMD CPU. Once again, this registry will help you to set up the correct default values for your processor to improve its performance. After that, go back, head over to the second folder, which is Valorant Priority, in which I have left these three registry files. To know which one you have to choose, you have to leave your PC specs down in the comments below, and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third folder is the RAM optimization, which does the basic thing. Over here, I have left a ton of presets according to your RAM. I use 32 GB RAM, so I need to double click and apply this registry. It will help me to set up the correct default value for my RAM and help me to improve the performance. Once again, I have 
have left a lot of presets so you can apply it for your pc and if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default over here fourth folder is for your input latency where i have left these two command files first one will help you to disable process mitigation you're gonna have to right click on it as administrator and this will run a batch file which will help you to disable this service on your pc it will help you to get rid of most of your input lag second one is latency tweaks and over here it will help you to disable dynamic tick and disable high precision event timers and synthetic timers which adds up to your input latency simply right click on it as administrator and once that is done go back fifth folder over here is the useful programs in which i have left these program files over here let us start with the first one that is clean temporary files dot bat you wanna have to right click on it as administrator once this window opens up you wanna have to press any key on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files off of your pc it is always advised to do this every now and then to improve your pc's performance next one is process lasso and to depict that i would open up valorant in the background what you guys have to do is simply install process lasso so on your PC. Alright, as you guys can see now, Valorant is running in the background and we are using process lasso over here. What you guys have to do now is head over to the active processes tab, scroll a bit down until you find Valorant in here. Right over here, it is Valorant win64 shipping.txt. What you guys have to do is right click on that and then head over to CPU priority, click on current and set it to high. Once that is done, you can minimize this application and it will help you to optimize the performance and improve the priority of Valorant. Next thing that you have to do is install quick cpu on your pc and open it up all right once quick cpu opens up in front of your screen you guys can see a very simple interface like this what you guys have to do is select your power plan if you have high performance available select that if you have ultimate performance available in this list select that program and make sure to click on the active button after that you want to have to see the core parking over here and if that is set to zero percent you want to have to set this thing to 100 percent and other than that all of these sliders should be set to 100 percent that includes frequency scaling turbo boost and performance once that is done click on the apply button and this will ensure that your cpu is being utilized and you are getting the maximum performance out of your cpu whenever you are playing the games once that is done you can go back last one is disable unwanted services and over here i have left some of these services which are really useless for your pc what you guys have to do is simply double click to apply every single one of them to disable them on your pc and it will help you to boost your performance drastically once all of that is done simply close the fps pack next step is the compatibility settings and for that you have to search for Valorant on your PC, then click on open file location. Right click on your game again, head over to the same thing, then go back to Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find in Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Right click on this file, head over to Properties, Compatibility and over here click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then click on Change High DPI Settings, select this option, click on OK, Apply and click on OK once again. Once that is done, you can simply close this folder and now you guys can drop into the game. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to Settings. Right over here, go down to the general settings. Scroll a bit down until you find the raw input buffer and you wanna have to turn this thing on. After that, come down until you find the network buffering and you wanna have to set this thing to medium. Then go to the video settings and in the general settings for the display mode, go with windowed. And you guys can also go with full screen if you want maximum FPS. Nvidia reflex low latency should be set to on plus boost. Then under the graphics quality, you wanna have to enable multi-threading on and then all of these quality settings to off. Vignette and V-Sync off. Anti-aliasing, go with none anisotropic filtering 16x improved clarity you guys can turn it on or off other than that everything should be turned off once that is done you guys can now enjoy your game with the maximum fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash hit subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you all we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox and peace out